Hello Taurus, welcome back. Real quick, for those of you that are new, um, I don't do date and time specific. We're working with spirits and energies, so something that I said in a video a few months ago could start to be relevant to you now. It all depends on where you are in your journey, okay? So keep in mind these are general readings, take what resonates, and if it doesn't, check the other signs in your chart and watch one of those videos. Or if you want to book a personal reading, link to my website is in the description box below. All right. And feel free to flip the energies depending on what feels right for you. Okay. So there is a full moon on July 16th, which it's in Capricorn. So I pulled some full moon messages from the universe for you. And you got partnerships. And alliances there's somebody I feel like you're really trying to work a partnership out with whether this is relationship or work and you know I, I feel like there's been a lot of conflict in the past and it's just been really hard but I do see you know the one thing I would like to point out you both are holding on to each other here so um, if, if it wasn't that way in the past they're now holding on back or you are holding on back, whoever wasn't, it's like there's been a realization. Somebody may have been in a lot of pain or very upset recently, one of you, and during this moment, this moment of them feeling pain, they realized that they did want to hold on to this connection. They didn't want to let it go. So there could have been even somebody grasping out for you. This could have been something that was hidden that they hid in their emotions or you hid. And um, yeah, I think it, it was revealed to them. They finally saw maybe somebody is looking themselves. They're looking at themselves. They're also that you also could be looking at a counterpart here. See, this is very kind of soulmate energy, but I will say that there are secrets involved or there were in the past. There's just a lot of darkness here. So, the, you know, this is definitely a relationship that's taken a lot of work, <clears throat> but I'm sensing that somebody wants to rejuvenate it. And if you can bring all the darkness to the light, this could be possible because again, you're both holding the same staff. You have the ability to go the same path. You know, you are each other's opposing. One is dark, the other one is light. You know, sun, moon, it's very kind of twin flamish. But again, you know, this takes a lot of work and there is a level of toxicity to it. Somebody actually may be physically obsessed with the other or maybe you both are obsessed with each other. I don't know, but there is a level of obsession going on. And this foundation was not good in the past. I mean, here you are, you, you first card out, Taurus, rocking yourself, but you were not able to secure a solid relationship or commitment or with this person or this organization that you're working with feels more like a person, specifically a water sign. Uh, yeah, I'm getting water sign. Could be fire, maybe, or a no. Okay, maybe could be fire, but I'm really feeling like Taurus is dealing with a water sign of some sort or somebody that it is just very, there's a strong emotional connection to. <clears throat> This person is very defensive around you or, you know, there's just a level of defensiveness that's been going on. Also, somebody could have been unable to make a decision. They could have been back and forth a lot. One day they were into something, the next day they weren't. But I think uh, they made a choice and it feels like a committed choice as well because it looks like a wish fulfillment. And I feel like it's a wish fulfillment for you that there's gonna be, that this is not over the judgment there's something was just decided you know they had it was like there was even though they feel very much exhausted and struggled by this you or them they decided that it, they don't want it to be over and and you too but i feel like you yeah there's just a level of that that it's not over and this is this makes you happy 
maybe them as well, but I'm just picking up that it's your wish fulfillment to, to have healing in this relationship, to have some sort of, because you see them as the one, you know, that's the one you want. Even if there's a bunch of people around, you can deal with a bunch of people, of course, you can, but there's one in particular that you desire to have, and it's not finished with them. However, there could be an air sign involved that there's just a general a disappointment or sadness involving this air sign. Somebody could have made a decision while they were drunk or just been kind of reckless uh, in regards to dealing with this air sign, but it had repercussions because they were sneaky about it. So you or them, yeah, and, and a lot of conflict in regards to this air sign. There's also, I'm actually picking up a couple air energies. I feel like, to be honest, I feel like you both have air energies that you've dealt with that have caused conflict. And one of them is what I just mentioned, but I'm getting kind of like a recklessness, like a sexual recklessness, or somebody did something that now they regret because it pissed. I'm seeing just three people. And one person in the background, see, look at this. I'm just going to show you. Look, one person is in the background smashing stuff because these people are over here in the dark. And she's pissed. She knows what's going on because she turned on the light and it sh it's shining on them. So somebody turned on the light and something was revealed. Somebody, a sexual encounter, it feels like. Now, it doesn't have to be, but I am in this scenario picking up on a sexual encounter that was brought to light. Some of you, it could have caused even, for some of you, it could have caused like a pregnancy, but then for others, it was just kind of something that was made, like a foolish decision was made, could, and alcohol could have been involved. Yeah, sneakiness for sure. And this could have been a past relationship because I'm getting now the two of the same suit. So I have the Queen of Swords here and the King of Swords. But I will say that this person from the past that somebody dabbled with or is dabbling with, this could be they already did or or they are going to, but there will be no new beginning with this individual, this air sign, because it's just this air sign is sneaky in themselves. You can't trust them either. You, they, nobody can be, this This coupling cannot be trusted. So whatever decision was made, it's that's why there's regret here because it's not, it should be, it should end. So whether that's you, Taurus, or who you're dealing with. But there is spying going on. Somebody's spying, this air sign could be spying on you and your person you're dealing with, or you could be spying on it really just depends. So whoever's spying, you know I'm talking to you. <laughs> In which case, you could find out some information. Or you could just get some bad news. Somebody could get some bad news from a past person. Feels like a feminine energy, but it does not have to be. And it could have to do with children, or it could have to do... It could be an emotional message. But something, again, there's news. And this could have to do with a reckless decision... But this person could have been resting and kind of taking it, but they're coming out of resting now to, to spread some news. But they're not, I mean, again, this is not a good soulmate connection. It is one, but it's not a good one. So their offer should, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Also, for those of you that are dealing with somebody who is pregnant there's something about them inside they're not balanced so I don't know if they're taking very good care of their body while they're pregnant there's like um I'm also getting spilled cups which I don't like I don't like the thought of yeah there's just something going on here where now you don't they don't have to be pregnant but there's somebody here and it feels like it's a woman that isn't taking proper care of themselves inside, especially if they're pregnant. 
they're not eating proper, they're, they're, not, they're drinking something that's not good for them or something along these lines. However, um, try not to be confused by this person. Try not to let this person confuse you too much because they're just imbalanced in themselves. So they could also just be imbalanced in general. But so there's a couple scenarios. For some of you, this person's just imbalanced and all over the place. And then for others of you, they actually have something going on in their ecosystem, like bad diet, bad habits. There's something, and I'm getting liquid. There could be a liquid they're consuming specifically that's bad. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting here water and earth energy. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Does not have to be, but uh, the death card, you know, death always, death is here twice. So the likelihood of a Scorpio lurking with death here twice is kind of high. So, but um, yeah, they could be willing to make you a stable offer. If not right now, that could come in the future. There could be a change. They just could have a change of mind. This could be going back to what I was saying before. You're looping back around. But since it's coming up over here, you may need to give it some time. Yeah. But there is somebody that you feel very happy with, and you would actually like to have kids with somebody I'm getting. Like, there's somebody, and it feels like a water sign. Very much so. This, um... She's very mysterious always kind of wondering like what's going on in her mind or what or he you know what are they doing what are they thinking about because they kind of they don't open up too much they're very inward they're pretty intuitive that's probably part of the reason but again like there's somebody I'm just getting very strongly that there's somebody that you are like if I had kids it would be with you honey <laughs> so okay well all right, Taurus, watch out for some sneakies. All right? I, but I feel like, you, you know, you got it. You're good. You won't tolerate it. You're intuitive, too. So. All right. Oh, and Crosswatcher, whoever this applies to, because if the Taurus is being sneaky, then bad, bad Taurus. But I don't know. See, I think, I think both of you have had your moments. Okay? So I think nobody's innocent here. Anyway, all right, that's what I have for you. Bye-bye.